recognize that many of the people participating today do in fact work on the Hill and have a mandate to educate um, senators and congressmen on the nuances of uh, internet policy and technology policy. So just by participating in this dialogue and presenting those technology issues, both what we call the conceptual models, that is the ways in which we haven't anticipated that technologies can be used, as well as the policy vacuums, uh, those vacuums that happen to be there because of uncertainty or the lack of prediction of possible issues. Uses are those things where these um, new people who are coming and joining the political process uh, can make a great contribution by educating uh, the legislators. I guess I would, I, would, I, would, I would jump in on that and say that it's probably especially true when you're talking about governments outside of the OECD. Uh, if you think about how complex it is for us with all the resources that we have, with the, the number of years of experience that we have working with this technology, the number of people who can weigh in and give us advice, uh, you go out, uh, you go closer to off the grid. Uh, I used to work a lot in Malawi, and the, just the truth of the matter is, is that their their bench is not as deep as ours. They don't have as many people who've had as many years of experience, and so oftentimes what you'll find is a policymaker who is relatively new to the position, who has a political background, not a technology background, who has a staff that may be there for six months before going off to the private sector, and it becomes that much more difficult. One of the things that I have, I have heard a lot of talk of recently is trying to harmonize legislation on a regional basis so that a company that wishes to come in, an NGO that wishes to work with, and governments that wish to work together have a common framework off of which to build. I think that the, the same thing is true in terms of education for individuals is, is, is as true for governments, which is there's no real benefit in reinventing the wheel. So to the extent that we can work off, work off of templates, we may be well served. Our group didn't discuss the question that Carl raised, but my experience in state governments over the last decade tells me that um, too often governments want to regulate technology when in fact it was the behavior using the technology that's a concern. One wonders in, I guess, the Salem witch trials in the 1700s, when the witch trials were over, the legislature met to decide to, to ban the use of witches' brooms. But one wonders how they could tell the getaway vehicles from the ordinary household variety. <laughs> Be because banning brooms didn't make any sense, they didn't do it. Well, I wish the same sensibility would get through to the 50 state legislators we have here in the United States who almost always believe that bad behavior using a technology means we need to ban the technology. <laughs>